Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. It's Mike here. Well, uh, like any other person, I'm interested in how to lower my cost when it comes to energy, right? Now, while checking out YouTube, there are so many videos out there that are basically completely garbage when it comes to saving money. Titles like oh, free, you know, 20,000 kilowatts, that kind of thing. It doesn't say the consumption over time, so it doesn't mean anything. And uh, I tried several things on my channel already with sand batteries and with, uh, you know, bioethanol heaters, that kind of thing. Today what I want to do is I want to use heating elements to create an other type of sand battery. And I already did some testing and I'm super excited about it. And what you'll see in this video, not clickbait, not fake, none of that, is how I generate temperatures of up to 200 degrees Celsius with an input of about 50 watts, right? And this is legit, so let's check it out. All right, so what do you have going on here? I got a pot or a pan, whatever you want to call it. It's filled with sand halfway. I'll take this guy out, my heat ventilator or heat fan. And in the sand, I got four elements like this that are linked in series, okay? Now each one has an input of 12 volts and an output of up to 220 degrees Celsius. So they're under the surface of the sand and I linked them all up here and then I got my positive and negative uh, hooked up to this guy, my, my power supply. And I'll turn that on. And what I'll do is I'll hit the start button on my stopwatch and my input right now is 11.7 uh, volts, okay? You can see that the watts are ramping up as the peak uh, load is hitting. This will probably run up to approximately 100 uh, watts, something like that. And then over time, it will drop back to about 50 or 45. And once it's at that point, 50 or 45, you will see that uh, over time the fan will start to spin and it will generate heat somewhere in the range of between 150 and 200 degrees Celsius, okay? So right now it's at 102, 103. And the idea of this test is to show you how far the wattage will drop down, so the watt consumption and uh, if you can generate heat of 200 plus or 150 to 200 degrees Celsius with an input of somewhere around 50 watts, that's amazing, right? Okay, so just to give you an idea, the sand right now is about 11.8 degrees uh, Celsius, which is 52.8 F. So the fan is starting to spin at 24, 20, 25. Let's measure the temperature. Two twenty five F is about where it starts, one hundred and ten C. Okay, so let's get ready to do the final read. So the draw started at one hundred and nineteen watts, it dropped down to fifty four point five right now after thirty minutes. Um, the temperature right now um, with the fan spinning is 230F, 110C, and let me take this thing out, and as you can see it's not connected to anything, no batteries, no wires, nothing, like that fake beep you find online, and actually it turns out this guy wasn't even sitting in the sand which influence the results yikes and the element right now is very very hot let's see 134 c this one 
And I'll show you what's going on here. So we've got one, we've got two, three, and four. And actually these are not linked in series, but parallel, right? So yeah, that concludes my little test. And uh, yeah, now that I'm messing with them, you see the amperage going up again. But yeah, that's it. So for the price of roughly a decent light bulb, you can have some nice heat going on. And I think that's not bad at all. A couple of improvements that I'm gonna do. I'm going to fill it up with sand. I'm gonna put an insulator around the pot to keep um, the uh, conductive heat in and to have the convection heat with the fan uh, improve, right? So yeah, if you come up with any improvements on this, uh, please let me know. And if you try this out, I'll put a whole bunch of links below so you know where to get this stuff, okay? Well, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.